What's up, y'all? Today I'm reviewing some Corsair speakers. I've had them for possibly like two years or so, and uh, they're actually pretty popular speakers on the internet, but uh, never got around to reviewing them until today. Let's do it. Obviously I got uh, one of the speakers uh, just unplugged right now so I can show you guys it. So here's what the speaker looks like of course. And uh, of course you get two of them because it's a 2.1 channel system. Then you also get the subwoofer, that 0.1, which is a very large box that also includes uh, the uh, amplifier. And uh, like that's where you plug it in and a lot of cool stuff. And that's where you plug the speakers into. So it's a, a pretty uh, all-in-one setup, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty nice as well. Like as you can see, like the cone on the speakers is uh, like blue, so that's cool. Speakers look pretty nice, uh, and everything's a pretty good package, uh, I guess, appearance-wise. You also get a wired controller, which basically like uses like a VGA connector to hook up to the sub, but uh, basically it's a wired uh, controller that uh, controls uh, audio uh, for speakers and subwoofer and like settings and I guess turning it on and off. And it also has a headphone jack, which is something the iPhone 7 doesn't even have, so that's pretty wild but uh so yeah it's pretty nice uh the cord is a little bit on the short side in my opinion like for me i have to tuck mine in like right over here it just barely reaches so uh, it's a little bit on the short side shorter than the speaker cables which uh is a little bit longer at least but uh it'd be nice if that was a little bit longer i suppose another little thing you get is these like little speaker uh like uh, stands i guess it just uh, it, it's for like one side of the speaker so it's going to either like lift it up to um, like raise it and like point the speaker up or you can put it on the back side and point the speaker down if you have some sort of setup that requires that um, so that's nice because on a lot of other speaker brands they charge extra for that and you get these for free which is cool oh and uh, I probably should also mention on the appearance side um, there's like no really like mounting like on the bottom or like the back or whatever so if you want to like mount these on like stands or something you're gonna have to some have something that just like holds it up not something that like will like screw into this or something and you're unless you do some pretty sick modifications you're probably not going to like be able to like mount these on the wall or anything like that unless you want to do some modifications of course um so there you go with that and if you want to see the uh, speaker cable input it's like a four pin kind of like on a pc to be honest so it's a uh, proprietary um which is fine i guess the speaker cable length is perfectly just fine uh so that's not too bad so I've been using these speakers for uh, quite a while, maybe like a year and a half or so. So uh, I like them. I bought them at the same time I bought my Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, which I have a review on, by the way, if you want to check that out. Um, and uh, those speakers definitely sound better than these. I mean, I mean, those speakers are 250 bucks for just the speaker. So it's not that, that much of a shocker, I guess. But uh, these speakers sound good, but for all the hype I think they get on the internet, I think they're probably a little bit overhyped because a lot of people get these and they're like, oh my gosh, these Corsair speakers. Um, and they're big and they're cool and they look nice, but uh, the sound isn't up to par with like an Audio A2 Plus speaker. So if you want the best of the best quality speakers, I would get something like Audio Engine A2 Plus or something like that price range, I suppose. Um, but uh, if you want sound that's good, but is not going to blow you away, this is probably what you want. Moving over to the subwoofer. So I have that thing cranked on my controller and uh, even with the audio cranked on that controller, the subwoofer is kind of lacking. I mean, even if you crank that thing up, you really don't have that much bass. And it's a really big enclosure too, so you would think there's like a lot of bass, but it, I don't know. I'm guessing the sub is just underpowered or something because it's ported, which is good. So that's, that's gonna make it louder. And uh, I mean, it looks like a big subwoofer, maybe it's not, maybe it's just underpowered. The moral of the story is it's just not that good at bass. So like my other setup, I have an Audio Engine A2 Plus speaker and then I got a powered subwoofer to add on top of that. That is my preferred setup because there's way more bass, audio sounds better, it is more expensive, but it's probably not as sleek as this. Like this is a sleeker, like all in one kind of thing going on here and you get that cool controller. But um, if you want the best of the best quality, these aren't the way to go, even though they're somewhat affordable and they're still pretty good. So that's kind of like a short review of these speakers. I mean, I could go into more detail 
Um, I might give you guys a little, a little bit of a test of what they sound like here. I'll play some music and you guys can actually hear for, you know, your guys itself what it's going to sound like. I mean, it's good, but it's not going to blow you away. Anyways, I hope this review helped you guys. Uh, if, like, like I said, if I had to go back and pick, I would just get Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers and then buy a powered sub to hook up to those. And the whole setup just sounds a lot better in my opinion. But this is still pretty good. So if you want something that's all in one, it looks pretty sleek, has a cool controller that comes along with it, then this might be your uh, way to go. Uh, so thank you guys for checking out this review. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. They're good speakers, just not gonna blow you away. If you have any questions, leave them down there in the comment section below. And beyond that, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace out, y'all.